in Cologne. One X-Bet odds are favoring Gambit in quite the big way. And out the gates we go over towards NIP's favorite site, or at least the in-game leader of Hampus's. Mm, Hobbit's got himself a smoke to play reactively. Inter's tucked in now with Nafanina partnership for this. It's a perfect pop flash. They've both been blinded, and as their vision restores, Nafani, I think he's better off 15 bullets for that frag. That res does eventually fall. And, well, man, advantage nip. Here comes the rest. The rotates in. They need to clear and isolate that hidden hobbit. How has he not gone down? He's still hiding. Can play the denial here, and he will tap away device. He's at least Stop that bomb plant, but there you have it. Ninjas locking down the pistol. And just for those of you playing at home who are keeping a tally times, the Julies do anything of note that he wouldn't have gotten away with with the USP in professional team one play. Add another one to the no column. You can hear them. Yep. Um... Scared. They sound scary. <laughs> Device got more done with them than Nafani did. He used them through the smoke. There you go. Look at that. Beauty. He picked him up, so we'll just we'll just add that one to the list of uh, another Julie purchase that results in nothing. So yeah. always fun. My favourite game to play. It's about the amount, the same amount of fun now he's going to be having in this one, though. An armored deagle in play, so he's got a full utility belt. We'll see if that becomes a relevant topic as they drop their mid util, and we have Gambit taking early info B. Okay, so NIP going to be posturing red room as it fades. Axile to peek out ledge split. contained by Hampus. It is the A split, but held by a scout of Shiro and a CZ75, and Axile's already rumbled that mid luck of Hampus. That propels them forward, smoked off by Hobbit. Oh, they have to they have to go back. They've dropped back all the way through Dono here. This is giving time for the rotation to get on over. Oh, good util. That Molly will buy time. Shiro deterred, and now the bomb can be planted. I believe Rez will get it down uncontested, which is, you know, not always easy to say on T side, Ancient. Hmm. Well, this Galil is nice for Inters here. You think he might want to carry that forward into Linus. They take one. Maybe they'll accelerate for this now. Inters fired off a couple of shots to deter, and he's just containing Plopski in that donut position. It's ticking in favor of Nip. Every second that does pass, favoring a Ninjas 2-0. They've got so many weapons in now. They want to be threatening a little more from Nafani's dig. Doesn't think the save. find anything there, and that's going to be the cue. Yeah, get on out of there, boys. Hold on to this. You're not looking too shabby here. Look at the health, bro. They really... Oh, oh wow. What a void for Inters to cross there. He needs to be careful. He might go down here. Oh, Inters. Ah, that's a big loss of the Galil right there. He put there. so much jam on the hot dog. Oh, no. Way too much jam. Okay. Well... Yeah, it sounds odd, and that's because I guess it was. That was a bit of an odd round in the scheme of things here. You like the attempt from Axel. It's, it's very desperate. Uh, the fact that they negate their smoke with one of their own. This is the kill here, which hurts the most because Inter's carrying that through could have meant a real shot for Gambit in the next round of play. But now we don't have as, as much excitement, right? There's still a chance, but this same mid control, right? You see the combo of this, everybody. We've got the Molly from spawn. You've got the smoke donut and the smoke top mid. Now, I don't know if Flask have adjusted their rule set back or forth, but if you're NIP, you may as well get as much use of that as you can. You won't yeah. be getting away with this in a couple of weeks' time. Oh, and Axel actually could have done so much more with that. Rez is delivered. And Shiro's scout does make itself known in that temple. So, plant's not going to come easy for ninjas. Watch this just become a nightmare in itself. Look at the util they've got, Chad. No more smokes, and the bomb's not down. So, you're going to get poked. Prodded, sprayed, Linus low. That's a big conversion, but the spray out oh. of that Mac 10 was so close to perfection. Plopsky left with 15, but he does convert. All right, well, they make it interesting. Right? There were competitive rounds, there were moments, but now we're getting to the guns. Yeah, but into the full investment here, and it'll be interesting to see just how much more of this we can get out of NIP. Rez is currently the lowest rate of player in the group for the Ninjas. Actually, no, that's a lie. Linus is. Oh. Then Rez. Uh, in the group? In the group for NIP. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so you want you want a bit more out of Rez. You want him to be your second highest rated player. He's your, your second star just behind Device. There's the deep molly. That's going to hold Hampus at bay. Over towards B, they start looking for some space. Four members of NIP over here. And only two residing on the B bomb site right now. Inter's going to tuck himself in quite yeah. defensively in laps. Gambit have no info mid either. Like the mid slip could be out. Hampus did do extinguish and the smokes were up. So now they'll be... Asking some questions of that. Inters stands and nearly delivers too. So solid defensive work out of Inters. He's done enough. It's going to rejig the CT setup here. Right now, Nafani's going to have to pick up the slack and Shiro comes on over to watch B ramp. 
And it is just looking like NIP waiting and posturing for anything more out of Gambit. They don't have any reason to push further forward than this right now. They are lacking info in middle. Axile having a jiggle every now and again from Donut. Oh, and this big snap here should be punished. Definitely is. Damage done now. Down to 22. Equal with Plopski. So he's done a lot with low HP here, Plopski. Now they're just setting up for the B execute. So if Gambit stay right now, which looks like a bit of a retake setup on the site, they will lose the bomb site and they don't have a kit. Ooh, now for me, his nade could be incredibly influential. Now, Shiro forced forward by the flames. He's burning. We'll have to find safe retreat behind the smoke. So that's mission accomplished here. A boost could rumble things. If he gets up at the right time, he should be able to strike and deny. I don't think Popsky saw him, and that's an easy first. No one to return fire. Device does well to topple her hobbit, rather. Oh, and Shiro's gone too before they even start the plant. Device with the double, and now Axile... Thrust into a clutch with no kit. Unlikely he goes for this. And that's the wrap up. Solid from NIP. And I mean, this is what we'll be seeing a lot of. And I sometimes find it hard to believe that you can just set up, maintain control, execute into the site. And as you often alluded, Chad, they did. They managed to pull that off without needing that second wave of util. Yeah, so this one here, you can just see, because they've done it late rounds, you know, when we talk about going B and you have the conversation about smoking left and right, if you go early, the CTs from A and middle are going to have all their nades for retake, right? Maybe they've dropped a smoke mid, maybe they've dropped a molly, but they're still going to have a smoke or two to smoke off cave or maybe the top of the ramp, right? In that situation, when it's late round, once you've done your default, once you've listened to all that utility, nice find there from Hobbit, it oh. makes that execute much more viable. Oh, responding with a nade there. So Rez picks up another kill. Do find ourselves back in a four on four. Shiro picks up the AK. And he'd love to get that over to any of his other teammates, right? The fact that he doesn't have any armor. If he could get that into Axile's hands, who is close enough, he will go with the little trade. Here you go, Axile. Here's your prize possession. But yeah, this can just be the waiting game, right? If NIP want to play with the heavy mid control that we've seen with the donut and the smokes, and then they just posture for this late B, uh, setting themselves up in, in a very good recipe for success. Yeah, I suppose all you have to do is just have Hampus it often enough there behind the L bend and walking through your mid util early that they have to acknowledge it. And here comes Rez. Oh, around the corner Beautiful. for both of them. That could not have looked any better. Axel, however, with that AK, very good for two. And he's handed Shiro something a little manageable here, Chad, dare I say. It's far from easy. He's, he's counting a lot on this unpredictable position upon the fade. Plopsky's committed, though, so maybe this is a duel he can win. How aware is he? He suspects. Oh, and the fight's given to him. Plopsky, nice awareness. And NIP looking fierce today. Five and zero out of the gates. And, you know, as our analyst desk discussed, the T side has been primarily where some of NIP's woes have been. We saw that new game against Furia. Admittedly, Ancient was incredibly close as well with some of their woes on the T side. So running into the A site just to Gary's AWP. We saw the clip on Reddit. Fantastic mm. stuff out of him. And let's get this one going. It's time for to see if Gambit's defense has a voice in the first half of our first half. I promise it makes sense. And speaking of A, it looks like there is a change up on its way. Two util sets, actually, the two nades oh, out of Exile quick, and Inters. Very quick. And just before they're even ready, the pop flash comes in, gobbled up by Inters. And the smokes are blooming, just thrown on the fly. This is so quick out of the ninjas. Caught with a smoke in his hand, trying to obscure oh. the view. <laughs> Hobbit, oh, and Hobbit gets another one as well. Barely seeing any of the three he takes down. And Axel will add another one to that list, just around the edge of the smoke. Poor Linus. A quick reaction out of him at the bare minimum, but cost him a dink. And yeah, Axel will collect. Well handled by Gambit. That looks so promising, Chad. Yeah, just the fact that we see them catching Axel and Inters out of position, trying to get the boost going after their aggressive maneuver, and they're just caught out of place. Hobbit saves the day in a big way here. The fact he gets one is great, three is a miracle. So Hobbit securing the round single-handedly here and Gambit do get on the board. And immediately you can see the ramifications for NIP. Straight down to pistols for the likes of Hampus and Linus. Rifles for the rest, let's see. Was that just a, a good start from NIP or are there legs to this? Back towards B, where the success has come from. It's not a bad call here either. Different setup out of Gambit. 
Shiro starting at B and has to deliver. There's the first. Well, just before the smoke was there, Linus has done well to get onto the site here. How is he okay? The smoke cave is enabling a plant really early into the piece. And now bottom down. Okay, Nip, what have you got for us? It's not going to be easy. Chance to discuss the details of it. They have to push for this back long control. Push through the smoke, push that triangle and boost it up. Daphne is good for the first. Rez, this is hyper-aggressive stuff with the Galil. He does need a second. He hyper-commits. And now just a vice up against the entire Gambit squad. Bomb ticking very favorably for him. They're hunting kind of wildly, but there's going to be the bodyguard of that Shiro Orb, and they are holding it in front of his nose. There he is, number two found, and not a single ninja left alive either. So starting to really empty the coffers of the pajama ninjas. I think one of the things teams might have to start doing against Gambit CT side here is if they take B, uh, Nafni likes to hold on to Cave. So you're just going to have to pressure that, right? You're, 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 if you can take that off, you get the bomb down, you can chill for a bit, but you're going to need that real estate at some point. And if you can take that late, you know, as the teammates are coming through CT spawn and committing, and then you can take that away from them, maybe that could be a pressure point. Obviously, we have to wait and see what teams are able to do. But here we go again. Device, a couple of extra dollars into a Hero AK-47. The rest on the Deagles. And now we just spread out, fan out across the map and look for some headshots. Rez is tasked with finding one. He's found a lot of space here. Sure if you're oh, well, yep, he was spotted. Uh, Axar confirms my suspicions. Just watching the way he plays there. Eh? He actually just sits in that temple and jiggles both sides until he gets a fight he's ready for. Well, NIP have walked up this B lane position. Axel's already kind of dismantled anything that was coming towards his site. So may as well try somewhere else. A little test of Inter's defense here. And wow, crouched in. Well handled from device, the only AK in play. Another off angle, here you go. You just had to deal with Inter's, now come deal with Napanese. Uh, and that retrieval of cost Tampus' life. No hope for the ninjas here. Shiro passed. Already deals with device. The Deagles promising, but there's the trade. You see Nafani just backing up his teammate. Keeps it solid, keeps it safe. It's an angle you can play in cave, right? If you're just like in cave looking towards the B ramp position. It's quite a nice angle because when players are running in, normally they're hard clearing the wooden cubby. They're worried about the uh, long and the short sides of that big block in the back of the site there. So I understand the the reason that Gambit are really liking this cave control, such a powerful position. I think this combined with uh, the B lane, especially the ledge part that limps out out to mid is, is the most important part of the entire map at the moment with how Which it's played. It's so close to cave as well and influ influenced by it as well. Okay, interesting. So see the double mollies is uh, what Gambit are doing here to slow down this mid crawl and Hobbit's committed. He's going to need some help. Shiro with that, that smoke's going to be fading in a second. So he's going to be able to contribute. Oh, rare to see Hobbit with an opportunity like this. Look at that, unchecked. And even trades, god damn. We're going to lose some more bodies here, I think. Smoke down on that donut cross. Immediately thrust into a 3v3. This one could get spicy, Chad. Device through mid. Now, Navani's ready to receive him if he's brave enough to dip his toe into cave. Yeah, I guess Nafani can play spoiler here. Hold on to Cave, let them up through B long and retake his unit, but Device is coming and Nafani's ready. The Org is closed and the Org, two rounds in a row. Well, two rounds in a row, Device gets that exact kill. Yeah. Oof, okay. You're not expecting him to walk away with those. Device has come to play today, up to 10 frags, and that should be the round. I think we'll see Gambit go for the save here. Shouldn't be too much risk in this one. And look, we were talking about Rez needing to step up a bit more in this group. He's at 10 kills as well. So uh, the two stars for NIP shining brightly right now. Yeah, and for some reason, like it, it took those back-to-back -back rounds to shake my brain to the device is a competent rifler conversation. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm like, I know it's there. Yeah. But like, it's just for some reason, especially since he moved to Nip, I've just had him as like the AWPer of the team in okay. my in his characterization. So I, I think took, the, took me, it took a while to get it back on. The coolest thing with Device and, and his place in the system of Astralis was, yeah, he was the AWPer, right? But the, the thing was, he was always one of those AWPers that, okay, someone dies and we're running into a site and I'm going to be better for all of these fights with a rifle. He would change, right? He would always make yeah. that decision, right? And, and, and I think Device, if you go back to the early days, he was never even the primary AWPer. There was a lot of sharing of the AWPing going on back on in the like, TSM days. So Yeah, Cage and B. Yeah, so I, you, you think about it, I, I, yeah. 
he's just so successful at it. It's it's easy that you just fall into that trap of, oh, yeah, 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 fair enough. But he's a bit of everything. Certainly, and looking good on the AK, which is going to be especially useful on a map such as Ancient. I mean, other than peeking into that B side, good luck, have fun having too much impact on that T side orb. Double orbs drawn on out. Naphany thinks he needs one, so I guess they feel like they need orbing presence elsewhere. Mid slipped. Sure. Device with pressure again here. Yeah, and this is the same field as the rounds they've been throwing. Oh into the heavy B presence. They've got through the red smoke. That's so much, so much presence. And Device has caught Hobbit. Knife out. War, look at the space he's taking. And heads he's taking round, but essentially over. Axel flanked. And Device has done it all for the boys. Yeah, huge risk, right? Massive risk, but massive reward right there. And Shiro, it's like it didn't get comm to him or something. It the did look a that, bit slow. Yeah, Device has just continued at that pace. Maybe the smoke blooming, right, is what caught him off because Device was ahead of it. He just went. He was just really quite quick on that. Well, this is NIP about to get seven rounds on uh, what is one of our most CT-sided maps in the pool. So uh, this is looking great for the ninjas here. They have definitely come to play today. Into scrambling for his life, gets a couple of consolation frags. Has picked up an AWP, would love to be able to hold on to this, but against the clock here. Pressure from both sides. T-spawn is the real issue, and the missed shot Linus will secure. And they don't want the orb, so that's all right. They're going to continue to operate with these rifles. And yeah, we've already lined out a couple of reasons why that's not a bad idea. Yeah, this is so cool, especially considering that this time it's they're, they're reaping the rewards of the conditioning in mid right now. Look at this. Hobbit just turned away because for the last 10 rounds, he's been turning away from that smoke and nobody has dared brave that red room walkthrough. This time he does, and what a reward. It's a whole round, and it's even broken the boys a gambit down to a Deeg for Naphany, a Famas and a couple of nades that he could scrape together. A heavy mid setup, which will be immediately sending, oh, more players to B. That's a great catch from Shiro, considering he was solo on the site initially. There's three buddies with him now, so four in total at B for Gambit here. They like, did a very quick mid sweep, and now stacking the B site. If they just go out of ledge right now and want to scurry over towards A, it is just Axel to deal with. And I say just, he's in a very interesting position here. You can tell he's aware of how much room is open on the map. Mm. The flank potentials, they can come through Donut, they can come out A main, they can also come through middle and flank him here. So head on a swivel. Inters is going to give him one less thing to look at now. Reza selling this, so it's all just going to be through Donut. Nobody through Red. Yeah, cool smoke, but they're already through. They have the info, and well, Axel's element of surprise could be interesting here. I wonder if he's going to catch it. Yeah, a ninja like that. Oh, when Axel gets two, they couldn't comet. Powerful position from Axel. Now for the clutch, the two best players from the ninjas in pajamas saddle up. Delivering one, Rez very low HP, opts for a fresh mag from the fresh gun. No, needs a clean headshot. He wants a chance into this one, leaving Device. Up against three members of Gambi's look the wrong way, not anticipating the crawl from Shiro here. From that temple position, the footsteps only confirm his vision further, and this is the end of the potential. Call it four, and they can thank Axar for that one, I think. Yeah, like an odd position for Axar to find himself in, but that's exactly what he's looking for. It's not a position that you're going to hard clear, right? You're going to be looking in so many other places than that. So Axar gets one away, and I just went and had a look at the stats uh, out of the player break in the Pro League map pool. Because um, we were just talking about, you know, the most CT-sided maps. In Pro League, the most CT-sided map is Overpass, then Ancient, and then Vertigo. So, uh, you know... Okay, it makes it, sense. Yeah. It sounds about right. It's a little bit a little bit different, I think, than how it is uh, with, with all the maps for 2021. But uh, interesting to see. And here we go again. Back out mid, the Extinguish Hampus. Oh, he's in the smoke. Axel's ready for this. He's heard that. And, oh, the bullets. They can't just land. Hobbit will mop him up. During all of this... The A bomb site is open. I feel if Axel got that kill, maybe they would have accelerated oh. a little bit faster. Yeah, he'll have heard that though. You can see his util it flies the same and the rotates on its way. The entire Gambit squad are alert to this. You better get the bomb down now. That's Sketchy. a lot of pressure relieved as he finds the frag onto Hobbit. But still no plan. Klops, he's got too many angles to be concerned about. Front Donut putting bullets into him. The smoke's not gonna protect him. It's far from bulletproof and Rez, well, he might be wishing he is, because he's got three people hunting and breathing down the back of his neck. And too many men to clear. Call it 5-4 Gambit. The gap starting to close. It was NIP really pulling away with a fantastic 5-0 start. 
now starting to balance out into a bit of an equilibrium. Yeah, I would have loved to plan there. I think maybe we would have seen NIP go for another type of buy similar to that one if they could have got the bomb down. But now I think they have to just take the save. Device is brought into a dig. We get a flash for Linus here. So they're conceding. And if Gambit come back and they win the half eight to seven, look, that's a good turnaround for them. But this is quite the CT bias map. Yeah, call this like, this is like, uh, you know, when you were playing train and you had those dreamy starts where you got the 3-0 and the first gunny and then started falling off a cliff, but you still had five and six. They've managed to get seven. Uh, so solid haul from ninjas and they'll get one more stab with all the trimmings. This is the perfect setup right now. Look at this, bullets through the smoke. They've locked those doors out. You've got Inters close by who can assist with this one. He can even drop another smoke on that door position. So they're able to lock NIP out. And this is one of the things, as, as a CT, if you can establish this level of control, if you can clear out the lane, if you can keep the door smoked. Where's that second smoke, Inters? Maybe it's not it. coming. Yeah. All right. Guess he has other, other plans. He'll let them out. Before goes the control. And that is Yikes. an absolute steamer. Any more? Any more from the Res D. He knows there's one in Cubby. Came to be contending with as well, and Shiro's having no issues whatsoever. I think he wants his ult back. Yeah, give that one back, please. Felt a bit foreign for him there for the, with the rifle. What's this thing? I'm gonna click more than I once. I didn't have to bolt after every click. Oh, I get 300 for a kill with this? Mm. Oh, bargain. All right, well, two more rounds of play here, and the guns will come back out. Now, what has this been? Three on the trot. And out of the uh, last eight rounds of play, Gambit have gotten their six. So you can just see uh, the momentum starting to shift now. NIP would love a little bit of resistance here. A plant essential so they can buy in the final round of play. Nice deep smoke there from Hobbit. Popski holding down the B. Bomb site with device close by. Linus and Rez making sure there's no aggression. And it's all just, uh, I think, to make it seem like it will be a standard B play. They are rotating back silently now. Plopski going to come out through the ledge position to help clear middle. And now the smokes are fading, so they can begin the crawl to get this mid control. Yeah, Nathan is just playing the most passive of mid holds he can. Just going to be jumping, looking for info. We smoked off now, so that might surge him forward. Throws out a smoke of his own design. It's going to try and scare them off, hoping that they get concerned for a potential one way, but nothing to report. Caught his bluff on that a bit, didn't they? Yeah, keep going. And now they've got the pretty solid setup for an ape inside. It's going to be all about timings now, Chad. Like Hampus and Rez, do they activate first? Oh, Hobber and Inter's just called it clear towards B. They can heavy rotate towards this A site now. They just have to lock down mid. Yeah, it's about this rotate fight now. Shiro's posted up on it. It was still concerned and considering. Back up the A pincer. 30 seconds, lads. They are going to have to start taking some fights sometime soon. Pressure through mid now. Inters is going to be smoked off, so he's safe and sound and doesn't really have to be too concerned. And out they come with the A main at the same time. Daphne Shiro called upon. It's Axile that says no. Solid denial from Gambit. And it's only Rez that's given them any cause for concern. 10 seconds, Chad, and the bomb is locked out. They're not even going to be able to get their hands on it. Oh, dear. Well, What's he going to do? Uh, go down, I suppose. Yeah, it's now really just starting to be question marks around. That info play towards B long is what secured that rotate, right? They were so invested in A late there just because of the info play. So the little details that are happening off screen that matter the most in this in a round like this. And yeah, you, you just so many bodies, right? When you're going A, there's already a million and one pokey holes to worry about. The fact that all the bodies were there to deal with it as well. So Axel now gonna get himself up to 16 kills, leaving the charge for Gambit. In the final round of play, it looks like we might have a bit more of a B send. Mid util is thrown over towards B. They struggle. Little bit of chip damage there with the nade. Not really anything to get too concerned about if you're Plopsky and Linus. And this might be the go. Well, talking of info, Chad, Axel's already pushed A halls almost entirely. Nothing to report. Three CTs to receive here and a high flash. Should be timed well to at least re-aggress, but look at Plopsky. A real opportunity to strike, and he's taken the AWPA out of the equation. Equips himself with Shiro's old flame. Smoke is fading there, not far off from Inters. He's revealed himself, though. And looking to win out on their attacking half. Certainly would be a good feather for the cap. Ooh, Hobbit's rotating here. This is a big rotation, right? This is going to actually eat some time off the clock. 
Yeah, and Rez is the one that's housekeeping this. Is he not considered it? He hasn't, and it's resulted in his death. Scary times for Device and Plopsky now. Very scary. Smokes, kits, the whole shebang. Plopsky's missed his chance. And Device asked to clutch with only a Mac 10. It's a I mean, plant too. They what's can he supposed it, right? to do? Yeah, I mean, he could try and hit the perfect wall bang. He's going to have to push through this. Bullets are on. They're off the mark. And that's a gamble. Of NIP have awoken the beast, at least in the first half. Top of the scoreboard looking good alongside with Derez at 17. Axel had a great defensive half as well. One expert aren't convinced. Hampus had a mare in mid, and now he's contending with some bouncy glocks. That's too much for him. Very wide and aggressive from Hampus. Don't think he was anticipating such... so much presence from Gambit. There's four of them in mid, and they're dumping some util into Donut. Linus is going to be on high alert. I like how deep those smokes were there. Lots of access available here. No lurky boys, and, well, we're splitting A. Yeah, and it's actually a very imposing presence from Gambit. Rez has got multiple, too many angles, actually, to contend with. Look at this. The CTs all look hampered. Well, there's a leak in the boat somewhere or something. They're just getting in everywhere. Ouch. This one's not going to be... Well, uh, actually, let me try again. This one is done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're even setting themselves up in the self-boost for the after plant. They're coming from Donut. They've, they ba they essentially left the only avenue back into the site being Donut. Yeah, they just stranded them. I know it looks a little bit like a uh, safety ring, but uh, just left them. Just left them hanging out. Safety ring? Yeah, nope. Just I was just had to process what was... What, what would it be? What, the a safety? A life-saving device? Uh, the life ring. Life ring? Did they have a name? They I don't know. Name. I feel like there was a more concrete If we paid attention on the planes, term. we'd know what the name was. Yeah, it's true. Oh, okay. First map over there, ladies and gents. Fury versus Team Liquid. It will have ramifications. Yes. Um, Nip only qualifies if they win and Furia loses. Or NIP loses, Furia loses, and Entropic beats the Team 1 as well. So that, yeah, look, I, I think at the moment, the odds are definitely favoring NIP to get through, right? Uh, but maybe not even through a win, right? Yeah. Just through the fact that Furia might not get a win of their own and that Entropic are the favorites against Team One. But either way, we'll, we'll keep track of that as we get more information. Yeah, and the Furia storyline as well. Like, I mean, I'm not ready to get off the hype train just yet. It may look a bit bleak on Inferno, but Liquid have also been looking like real superstars. That I get. In the best form we've seen a Team Liquid in in some time. The thing is, and as much as I'm going to upset some Brazilian Furia fans out there, or just Furia fans in general, we don't even have to be from Brazil, is that I would much prefer the resurgence of NIP into the playoffs as the storyline than Furia giving it their best with a coach. Yeah, I completely one, understand. One has more legs than the other. Fair one is more enough. exciting if we're making a Disney movie. Yes, which, I mean, how do you know we're not? Maybe we are. Yeah. This could be the Truman Show and you're at home. This show is all about you. Don't say their name. That would, that would spoil the immersion. I would never. Okay. Well, this is kind of an important round here. NIP have put all their marbles. I reckon Rez has actually got some, in, some juice in the tank with his flank. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Two, not quite, but he does well to the first at least. And now Nafani's position Everyone's scouted here. out. The whole CT squad is here to receive and they have to commit B. Ah, uh, where is it? They where have to commit. Where are they going? Plotsky wants info, and I guess that that confirms it. Bomb spotted. Oh, oh, but the frags are still coming through. Gambit held at bay. Ten seconds, and now that scout. Oh, if you could all oh, deny, and they will. Gambit tripping over their own laces a little there. All right, all right, all right. NIP with the force by victory there. And uh, there was a question of doubt for a second, right, when they kind of cut noise and the flash coming through the smoke, that was for an info play. This this one right here. This is, okay, are, are we sure it's B? Like, are we certain? And then at that point, well, it's guaranteed, and Hampus just being an absolute nuisance device as well. Yeah, they, they both had to hit some steamers there. That's lovely. Okay, well, Gambit now. They're on the ones on the receiving end of this, and they've opted to go for Deagles, and Chunk's not down immediately. Hobbit won't be re-peaking that anytime soon. Down to 32 points of health, and this one has not started fantastically. A smoke here to divide the B lane. That'll allow Plopsky to help fight middle if he wants. Nafani is going to get up close and personal on that one. And if you just wait out the early util, I think you've already bled through the majority of the smokes here on NIP. They just have one remaining, four res. They have three flashes, one smoke. That's now gone. A Molly and a HE. So operating with very little here, just through patience alone. Gambit have made this one an actual interesting conversation. Ouch. Some stray bullets have left Nafani 
with a single point of health, and that will cancel his adventure. Hamper's definitely having a bit of a tough time in middle so far. It seems like Gambit take it when they want it. Passive hold from him. And he confirms that they have returned. Surely there's going to be a little imp implication that that A-Hall's could be getting walked through. No one's going to be picking up any sound cues. There's no smokes, though. It's just flashes and bullets, right? Yeah, should be easily held by Rez, but he's only got a scout, Chad. It's easy to overrun this. Okay. Wow, here comes the flash. Hampus is cheating over as well now. That's perfect. He's actually arrived at exactly the right moment. Repositioning after every shot. Rez with a miss. Hampus is there. and Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. NIP call upon Rez to deny that plant. Oh, the that nade, nade looks great. very promising and looks like you've just about, just about done enough. It's Rez with the impact from that scout. Hobbit doesn't have the time nor the intent. And would rather save hold of what he can. It's the M4, Kevlar, and the Helm. Okay. Oh, interesting there again, didn't it? A another tight round. NIP doing good to deal with that. And that HE, it just looked genius, didn't it? Just denying the site. You can see nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Bomb can't go down. And Hobbit has to make it a hard choice, right? Because he's going to have issues now going forward uh, with this M4, right? The fact that he gets no loss bonus. He's actually given the M4 to Naphany and received nothing in return so okay curious if we've given it to Naphany out of all the members on the team right here let's find out why no let's take a screenshot of that Sanji stands in shambles hey he can't okay hold up are we getting a gun for okay Axel's taking it now do, do we have a gun for Hobbit everybody the just guy, the guy screwed no he's living that life okay I don't know if he's happy about it he's gonna scoop up whoever dies first that's actually he has an intention to be recycling. Well, Rez gonna have to take a lot of contact here and look at the use of that angle left side of the box and just unloads into three. That's the bomb, that's the round. Just, just that block from Hobbit. <laughs> Poor soul can't hit anything. So that falls apart nice and quick. Yeah, and I, I feel like they were baited into that by the saved M4. Right, because that was the best thing they had into that round. They didn't really have a lot and now they will have to stomach an eco. So... I, NIP off the force by get four rounds. Thanks very much. Yeah, they get a lot out of that. So th this is looking very, very good now for them on their map choice. Thanks to Hampus's scout and Device's D. Yeah. <laughs> and the two, I, Rez has 24 kills right now. I, I'm going to do some quick maths here. Uh, Plopsky, Hampus, and Linus have 20 combined. There you go. I hope that's correct. Oh, and he's found the entire team. Should be finished off in a jiffy. Nice work out of the Plopsky spray to stop that being a retrieval process for Gambit. And, well, well, we'll take 11. There it is. That is the four, as Chad was alluding to after that Gambit pistol win. Now we get the guns out again, and we will see a T-side orb. So I am very, very intrigued to see, A, what Nafani's Krieg is up to, B, what Shiro, what value he gets out of that T-side orb, because we saw uh, NIP not necessarily leaning that way and working wonderfully. So let's get mm. into it. Our 21st round of play. Gambit leaning Shiro over towards the B-side with that Krieg and bomb. Nobody over towards A immediately here. So NIP are going heavy mid and heavy B out the gates. Oh, Hampus is getting very pushy here. Oh, great dunk nades as well. Combo right there in towards the cubby position. And Shiro almost getting one back. He's lucky. Very lucky to be alive, old device. Ah, okay. Well, the round should be over. Yeah, uh, Hampus is coming around the world on two members of Gambit. This is such a quick flank. This should be done. Unless he flubs this. Yeah, unless he uh, happened to be looking the wrong way because of a boost. Ah. Oh. Two heads. And, and they have no idea. That's the end of that. Oh, yeah, and with the silencer as well, they're probably looking into the site. Yeah, they're probably... <laughs> there's so many places from the site they could have got swung on in that moment, right? They would have had absolutely no idea what just happened. And do you want me to tell you what Classic Gambit are about to do? We were, what, 50 seconds of saving? If this is Classic Gambit in the server right now, that it, that's exactly what we're about to do, ladies and gents. We're going to see uh, old mate Shiro here just scoping down to T-spawn. And ah. Inter's defending the doors. How was your day today, Chad? My day, very frustrating. I saw you getting a bit tilted at some counter. I don't think I'll play any more pugs with, with Smoo, yeah. yeah. Your relationship is uh, its more just uh, talking into team speak, no more competitive 
gaming together? I, it's just like for him, he's got FPL. I only have the problem. Right. You know, and for me, I like it when we do stuff as a team. You want to be like talking together and working as a well-oiled pug yeah, it's machine. It's good. So like he can just run around and shoot people, but I can't function like that. I'm old. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Okay, in Tropic versus Team 1, I think we all imagine this one would be close. Team 1 with a reasonable half so far. I'm sure they'd love 7. But yeah, I feel the Team 1 in Tropic game is probably more like a 55-45, maybe a 60-40 in favor of in Tropic. I think that's a very close series. Certainly, and I think actually it's going to be coming down to whose stars shows up on the day. It does look like Elian's had his breakfast cereal, as has Krad, so that's... One point to Entropic in that respect. And your uh, Furia Team Liquid update does look like the Inferno. As seriously as you need to be. That's what I'm looking for with Liquid here. And they've really, really come in with a great form. Uh, okay. Not quite deep enough on the Molly, I guess. Hobbit and able, uh, does catch Hampus run boosted onto the lip. Two more members of NIP dispatched to confirm mid presence is theirs. That feels like a lot for Gambit to get there at the start of the rounds, right? In what looks like a Hail Mary play. So losing Hampus early, how are they going to deal with this? Looks like the lean B is the answer at the moment. Device Linus and Plopsky with it all to do. And Rez, he's been on a tear, right? They're just going to leave him at Donut. So his responsibility is massive. Rez that boost, by the way, it, with the Krieg as well. Yeah, Ugh. it's a filthy little angle. If they do go over towards Reza's site, he should just be traded. But with the way Reza's been playing, maybe he can get multiple kills and make this one interesting. It's just going to come down to the timing of all the sound keys. Maybe they give him a chance. Yeah, and I mean, he has the luxury of all that util. So, like, in a dream world, he gets some contact and can slow them down. I mean, we're at the 45-second mark. If they start dumping stuff towards A, which it looks like they are, Rez, a lot on the agenda here. He's already missed the first couple. There's the success onto Inters, but... He's kept humble, and I think so will the ninjas here. They're rotating in late. The bomb will be uncontested. No one in a position to stop that. They have money, so maybe hang around and see if you find somebody here trying to configure their post plant and then get going. Okay, I like the idea of flashing Pop Plopsky's temple close fight, and that looks promising. It did look that way. It hasn't resulted in anything for the CTs here in their containment mission. Now I would just be holding on to these, but it looks like they're going to lose everything right now. Linus is super committed here. That smoke to get away isn't going to offer up a lot, especially if Hobbit holds his line. And well, Shiro, he's coming around top red house as well. So this one is done. Gambit will get up to 10 rounds and NIP walk away with nothing here. So if they feel the back-to-back -back rounds from Gambit, the economic pressure is going to be felt much quicker, right? Because they could have held on to a few guns there. That would have given them a buffer in terms of purchases. You can see Hampers immediately now uh, down to nothing. Double tough orbs pulled out. I yeah. mean, a tough death for Hampus, really. I mean, chances of someone holding that, slim. Hobbit is just one of those two season opportunities. Like, wait, there's no smoke here? I'll oh, just stick oh, around, around. Yeah. see what happens. Oh, they're definitely going to smoke it this time, or <laughs> the tea smoke, either way. He still jumps for the info, just in case they're going for it again. Napoli now safe in the knowledge that there's no one up to any cheeky business. They've used... One smoke for cave early, Gamba, and then two to extinguish, right? So they only have... Well, they should have only had two to operate with. Now it's just one. So one smoke left to operate with. Space taken. Oh, very aggressive. And Naphne oh. just goes down. Well, now the boots on the other foot, oh. and then some Plopsky. Catching both, Hobbit. It's supposed to be the element of surprise. Plopsky's eyebrows far from raised. And look how divided they are now, Chad. I think it's safe to assume we'll rot a, a fair bit of time now as they either find nothing and save. Yeah, I think they're just saving. Yeah. Okay. I actually think they're just saving. Okay. I don't know. There was supposed to be a good option B, but, you know, unless it kind of it's fed to them. I don't know if Plopsky's leash accidentally, they drop it and he runs rapidly at them. Well, uh, yeah. What do you... I, you could... You could. Do a lot of things. You could do a lot of things. But the correct play is to save. How do you use this against Gambit in future? Like, how do I use this to beat them at the major? Knowing that early maneuvers that are successful forces them to just save and cripples any sort of bank they can build. I don't know. 
Yeah, I know. So I don't let's, know. Let's meta, <laughs> let's meta game that. <laughs> like in a, you, in a round... Because they're playing the right way. Yeah, in a, in a round where you can cleanly get two kills and take, what, maybe 60 damage between the lot of them, a player goes down, then yeah, right? I, I don't know. It's so difficult to manufacture because the default spreads from Gambit, right? Th that doesn't happen often. Normally they'll trade. Right? They didn't trade at all right there. That's one of the difference makers in a round like that. There was no trade. There was there was no resistance whatsoever. And it's so sketchy. Like, look at Plopsky here. He's actually using that door smoke to his advantage, just peeking around it. And it's a good fight for him to take there. So big stuff. 13 now for NIP. Surely they convert this one and they sail to map number one. Inferno and Dust 2 up next. Can't believe you just hit them with the surely, bro. Eh, surely. Can't believe you've done that. A T smoke dribbled out and uh, Hampus control. I, I can't believe he's still willing to go so aggressive. Update on that Liquid game. It does look like Inferno has concluded in favor of the Team Liquid gang. Oh, Hampus might catch a couple here. This is very awkward. Yeah, significantly, but he's got one. Plopsky through the edge of the smoke and just like that, NIP have put three frags from three very different spots on the map into the feed. All right, Chad, I suppose surely this is uh, NIP 14. Yeah, and really, I, I feel like they should be running away with the game from this standpoint here. We haven't seen a lot out of the T side. Fight's in the right place, the right time. Find another frag, that Shiro down, and it's just Axar. Sure, he's got 21 kills to his name, but... Need to find five more. That's the All first. Right. Yeah, first, and he does have util that he plans to dump Donut. No one ahead of it. Hampus considered it. Maybe he is. Yeah, nice work from Hampus. Just maneuvers at the edge of the smoke and does put the 14th locked and loaded for the ninjas in pajamas. So yeah, set for success here. Will they convert? I mean, this is how it went in Cologne. Yeah, but then the next two, there was a total of, I think it was 12 or 13 rounds for NIP in the <sighs> next two maps. So I don't think that's going to be the case tonight. I think NIP have much more to play for than Gambit do. Gambit already secured the first place in the group. NIP should be looking like a third if NIP can Lock down the final two of this defensive half. This is their map pick, and they have looked fantastically competitive throughout. Up against the top dog of Group D, already secure in that first position. Nice safe molly there from Hobbit into the cutout of mid. A bit more util flying through as well to get this mid control, but they have to find Hampus. Over towards the donut now, and device is going to make things even more jarring. So they creep out. Feels like they get they could have walked out here. <laughs> well, actually, it doesn't feel like they could have walked out here without the smokes anyway. So uh, nothing that NIP didn't already know. They're going back to B. Now. This seems like a pretty good call with the CT set up the way it is. This is noisy. They've just gone noisy through T-spawn. So if you're NIP, you don't know which way they're running. They could be running back towards A. They could be running back towards B with the water bug. But Hampus is about to clear mid now. And that info, it, yeah, it is. Resin, Device, they're moving. They're rotating. Are you they know serious? it's going to be B. Because of the... I don't know. I don't know what it was because of. Hampus calling mid clear, probably. Yeah. But this is unfortunate for... Uh, Hobbit didn't uh, hear him. Uh, he didn't uh, hear his legs. Uh, but now they're not ready for it. Up on the ledge, Hampus... Good for the punish, Nafani down, Gambit, scramble. I think this one's done. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? You're just going to throw yourselves into cave and lose it all? I think they are. Flopsky. Shiro does trade him after the first. Oh, no, no look at the boost, it's, it's perfect. No it's absolutely perfect. Oh, oh way. no, it collapses, and Inters gets out of the flames with five HP to spare. It all falls apart. <laughs> there is a way. Just like that, dude. How? I need to see it again. Come on now. I mean, they had 20 seconds. <laughs> Come they on now. Zero control of the site. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it again. Like, <laughs> let's piece that together piece by piece. Because I'm. <laughs> I'm not certain. Was there any? Was they all through cave? They both came through cave. So they killed one on site, and then the two in the totem. They just had to hold the trigger down. Man. <laughs> well, NIP have uh, put themselves into a bit of a box now. Okay, and if they lose this round, their money's broken. The, the, the aforementioned box. <laughs> so hold on to your hats and hold on to your orbs. You better make some value out of that device. Has delivered. How? <laughs> That was a kooky one. 
Oh, you knew they were coming. Yeah, you had full info. Fully rotated, no less. And Hampus went unchecked by Hobbit. Ah. Uh... Lord have mercy. Okay. Well, they can still... Yeah, there you go. Get another one of them device. It's all going to be fine. NIP, it's it's all good. Everyone just everyone take a deep breath. Everything's cool. That was just around to make it seem a little bit more exciting. Hampus is going to find another kill, right? Right. Right. And now it's just two alive. And these two, they know a thing or two about saving. Yeah, Axon knows a thing or two about killing, though. Ah, nice. Hampus still t has a thing or two to teach him. Shiro up against the world. He's being pushed, so he'll compliment them with the first. Okay, not another one. Don't no, no, no. I, I couldn't have seen a more certain round. We're going to bring up the highlights of the previous here, just so we can tr kind of piece it back together here. So, as they're coming out... Ten seconds. So, Plopsky gets this, right? The last two through Cave, 100%. Like, 100%. That's... Flash is dropped. Oh, device is completely blind. He dies. The and flash, then the other two are just... So it's the flash. Rez turned as well. That is ridiculous. One flash just banked out. That is insane. Caught two of the three, and the other was in a smoke. Okay, Bruh. well, I don't think it's going to change the outcome at all. It's yeah. last buy round here for Gambit. But um, still, meltdown there. Ooh, significant damage out of the Hampus maneuver, but again... Gambit have got themselves something to work with here. Okay, okay. Well, nobody watching mid, and nobody really watching A. It doesn't look like Axel's had too much success over there, so uh, they are actually heading back. And Plopsky, he's retaining so much room. Even the fact that he's just postured forward is a question mark right now for Gambit and Nafni, the in-game leader, to solve. And just in a very slow, slow walk over towards A, they, they've made it, but they don't know if A main's clear. They don't know if anyone's donut. They have absolutely no information. And Rez, on the other hand, is getting a bucket load. He's just called top mid clear. I, I feel like NIP are going to rotate over towards A well, any second. If he pivots now to donut, he can still have impact. But they are going to get an uncontested plant here. Okay. Like, no one's there. Rez is coming. Won't be able to deny this. Bomb has been planted. Safely planted. Oh, and into the jaws. For the first. Okay, four on four. No one's moved on B. Yeah. Uh, are they just playing the safe game here? They are, they are. And uh, you, you have to respect this. If yeah. you respect what Gambit do, you have to respect this from NIP, right? It's the fact that they've lost the site. They gambled. They gambled on it going to be a B finish, which is fair enough. Uh, they lost to that round we just highlighted before on B. But you want to make sure you're holding on to all your goodies there. So Rez was obviously in a difficult position. Tried to get out. AWP lost. Loss bonus for everybody playing at home is only 1,400 in the next round. Ooh. So they can get rifle drops here from Plopsky and Linus, right? This can be can be forgotten about again. Yeah, I mean, Rez's death does facilitate an AWP onto this uh, 28th round where it otherwise That's would true. not have been available. True. I, I, I suppose the bigger question is now, are NIP going to go for something a bit gambly again on the gun round or are they going to play default? Because... If they go gambly again, maybe they'll maybe they're happy just to do these saves. Got if you only need rounds. one, yeah, it's just their money situation is such a problem now. Lost bonus starting as of last round, right? So here we go. Oh, bullet's not far off. Seems like they want to at least maintain mid control. A little more actively this time. So as the mid smoke fades, they dispatch Shiro to peek into that red room. As I say that, it's smoked off, and maybe he'll be enabled for a fight onto device. Oh, this time there's a stack over towards A. A lot more A presence right now. Yeah, it looks very threatening. Even Hampus is dealing with the potential test of CT. Device, they are pushing him. It's no secret. Three of them go through the A hall silently. And that will mean that this defense could be wrong. Oh. What a miss. Set up, though. Rez with the first on the M4. Device looking for redemption and finds it. More in mid. Hampus has dealt with the first on Temple's side. Bomb now. And 1v3 for Shiro. NIP to close it out.